Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, sometime back, a couple weeks ago or whatever, uh, Plymouth Fens, a young man I watch out of um, England, he does prepper and survivalist and hiking crafts and whatnot, uh, was asking about first aid and wound care kits. Well, I'm a big proponent on everybody should have basic first aid and CPR skills. Take classes. The American Red Cross has them. I'm sure other if you're in another country, uh, your local Red Cross or whatever will have similar classes. Just do the basics. Um, I carry several types of kits from very basic, you know, slap a, a dressing and bandage on band-aid type you know wound care to slightly more advanced to I have a kit in the back that will if I come upon an accident it will, it will help me stabilize patients until proper medical care gets there um, this kit I just recently put together or actually put into this 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 bag it wasn't a uh, plastic box that kept getting lost. So this is a this is like one step above a basic boo boo kit. Not very much more than that. This is this is just basically uh, a support system. But we'll start out. Uh, there's a flashlight. It's just a mini mag light. Um, but it can it can check people reactions and whatnot, uh, check for you know signs of shock and what have you. Uh, plus, if it's dark, it you know come in handy that way. I have a cheapy razor knife. A pair of trauma shears would be a whole lot nicer. They're also a whole lot more expensive, and you know try to carry them in every kit. This will work to. Uh, access a wound if it's cutting away a pair of jeans or whatever. Um, you know, it's basically what that's for. Also in this front, easily accessible pouch are hand cleaners and a few alcohol wipes. Um, wound care begins with you. So... You know, it's best to try to keep your hands clean. If possible, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's not going to be possible. It, it, it happens. But if possible, you're the first line of defense. That's your first line of defense. Now we'll get into this bag a little bit. And I've got a few acetaminophen uh, that will help with, help with pain. Basically all that is. There is a small tube of super glue, a pair of nitrite gloves, nitrile, nitrite, whatever. Another flashlight, this one with a clip that's, um, anyway, yeah, just another flashlight. A pair of tweezers. You know, splinters and stuff like that. Sometimes they're hard to grab. A pen. This can be several different things. It can be a toggle when you're applying a, a, a tourniquet. You can use it to mark down what time you wrote, you, you put the tourniquet on. Make sure you have a pen that will write on skin. It's also good for marking the outline of a wound. Um, in case it starts getting infected, you, you can see the spread of the red. Um, you can also mark the time and date of each uh, each outline. I have again. This is really basic wound care. There is antibiotic cream um, and black electrical tape. Electrical tape. Okay, it's not recommended for a medical kit. 
Uh, sometimes, you know, kits have to do more than one duty. And uh, I have used electrical tape at, by itself to, to seal a wound up. Um, it's not optimum, but it works. And, you know, it is waterproof. It will stay on longer than a lot of medical tapes will. The stuff you're hearing in the background, I got my one little Jeep rat back there. Wave hello. Uh, he's watching something on the other the other phone thing while we're waiting on his brother to get out of school. I have a couple of... Hey, that's getting loud. Did you turn that up, Spider? No. No? Okay. A um, couple of small gauze pads. A couple of slightly smaller ones. These are 3 by 4 And then down here in the bottom... Ah... Is a gauze bandage. We'll put that off to the side. All right, on this one we have an elastic bandage. I carry elastic bandages on everything. I mean, they're in most of my most of my go bags, most of my day bags. Um, I have bad ankles and bad knees. I can twist an ankle walking across flat ground. So, I always have an ace, uh, not an ace, an elastic bandage. And it can work for wound care also. In, in place of, you know, a larger, a larger uh, bandage it, to cover dressings. It can apply, it'll apply pressure. Um, it's not very absorbent. Again, you know, things have to serve more than one purpose. So, there you go. We got that. Just a small everything to throw in here type kit. There's another tube of super glue. Another two tubes of super glue. There's a little thing of... A little straw full of antibiotic ointment. Another one full of Vaseline. There's a couple of safety pins. And then there's some... Um, Medications like uh, anti-diarrheal and asthma. Just a little grab-all kit. Cotton balls. Multiple uses. Some more gloves. These are latex gloves. People are allergic to latex, so you know, be careful using them. But in an emergency situation... Um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I have a couple of uh, masks. More like if you've got a cold or something like that to keep it away from the, from your patient. This is a... Um, just a foil pl covered plastic. Actually, it's a like a, a potato chip bag that was washed and then turn it inside out. Um, it will work for like a sucking chest wound or something like that. Um, whereas, a, you know, you can open it up and apply it over top of a, a uh, bandage to try to help keep it dry and then use that electrical tape and attach it. Anyway, several different uses. And it's a waterproof, you know, it's a water container if absolutely necessary. There are a couple of uh, craft, large craft sticks that can work as uh, immobilizers for a finger, you know, or maybe even a wrist, possibly, depending on the size of your patient. Also, a small, this was actually in the other box that I had. You could read through it, so, um, you know, just wound kit. But, yeah, just another small splint. Some, I mean, you have these available, but more than likely you, you end up grabbing something that's um, around around where you are. When my grandson broke his arm not long ago, the first thing I did was grab a towel and roll it up into a bandage and then wrap it around his arm and uh, immobilize his arm that way and then wrap, wrap that with elastic bandage. 
Um, so yeah, it is, you know, a lot of times you need to know your basic first aid. I harp on that uh, a lot. Um, but that, that basic first aid courses are fairly inexpensive. They're fairly simple. Um, and it's something that, that most people should have as CPR skills. You know, just take your basic CPR classes. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's it. Let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is you all leave comments on your Internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, Imager, or Instagram, there'll be some links in the description box, uh, along with, like, my snail mail and my email, and, uh, yeah, who, who knows what else is all down there. Um, YouTube is being rather particular right now, so if you haven't clicked the bell, try clicking the bell. If you're not getting my subscriptions, make sure you click the bell. Or you're not getting my notifications, rather. Make sure you click the bell. Um, like I said, YouTube is being very particular about subscriptions and subscribers now. You done, bud? Thank you. Um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. If they're, Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about it. Let them know you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, people. You never know. You know, if you're strange, forgive, forget, apologize. You may not get another chance. Maybe they won't get another chance. Maybe it'll be you pushing up them daisies. I hope not. I hope to see y'all again. And until I do. Ah, Slotsy, y'all. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye.